level is that right? It's Monday morning and, well, 11 o'clock. I've been up since about eight, half seven. The dog got me up. He was restless. He'd been restless all night and I didn't get to bed till half. It's funny actually, I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a, a meme of Robert Downey Jr. just going, oh, and that's exactly how I feel today. The dog's restless all night. I got to bed about 20 to three after work of karaoke, a lot of screaming women. Do you know when you hit, girls, you know when you hit that level, that tone that just like goes right through? That was most of the night from about 11 till one last night. And I think he had a great time. And it was a good, good night, but just the noise was just like, wow, wow. So he's been restless all night. When he walks around the house on the tiled floor, he's like a horse going through a courtyard. And I'm a very heavy sleeper, but sometimes extremely light with you know slightest movements, I hear it. So he's just had me uh, up and around all the time. Uh, so I've had him out already. And uh, the idea was to go back to bed, but my brain's just working and churning and churning. With regards to the comedy show that I'm trying to put together, or want to put together, I think it's, I don't even know how this is going to go. I don't even know the direction of this is uh, this vlog's going to be. I just thought it's my brain's thinking that much. So sometimes when I just talk out loud, it might be uh, it might be uh, um, makes sense. I'm laughing because I've got WhatsApp in front of me on the laptop. So ever since I've mentioned I'm going to do a stand-up show, uh, a good friend of mine, Alan Fraser, big up Al, uh, keeps sending me jokes, and to be honest, they go shit jokes. But funny, funny shit jokes. I love the way he just finishes it with, thank you, I'm here all week. Do you remember the old, thank you, I'm here all week. Someone threw a power tool at me, walking along, minding my own business, then bosh, it hit me. Thank you, I'm here all week. The one that got me was the other week. Where is it? He sent one through the other week. See if I can find it. No, I can't read that. I can't read that one. <laughs> I've just been for an interview as a trainer, as a trainer lion tamer. The lion tamer put me in a big cage with the biggest lion you've ever seen. He said, right, you need to be brave and control the lion. If he gets off that podium, reach behind you and pick up that whip and then wapow, wapow, crack in the lion's face and he'll go back. I said, what if the lion keeps coming? The lion tamer said, reach behind you, pick up that dining chair, jab the lion in the face twice and the lion will go back. But I said, what if the lion keeps coming? The lion tamer said, reach behind you, pick a handful of shit and throw it in the lion's face. I said, what if, what if there's no shit? The Lion Tamer said, don't worry, there'll be plenty of shit. <laughs> Thank you, I'm here all week. The idea of the stand-up show is not that style. It's 100% not that style, but they are funny, Alan. Keep, keep bringing them, really good. I saw one the other day, and it was... Um, it was on TikTok, fully enough. And it was, I think it's Mick Miller. Is Mick Miller the one with the, the hair that goes around all the way down here? And that was it. He's, he's still going, by the looks of it. And he said, uh, the Lone Ranger had been caught by a group of people and he was uh, tied up against a pole about to be shot and the leader of the group said have you got any last requests and he said yeah he said I think I'll have a cigarette so you want a cigarette as a last request he went, yeah a cigarette so the leader gave him a cigarette and he's like lit the cigarette and put it in his mouth and he's smoking away on the cigarette and he's going <laughs> creating these smoke signals does this for a couple of minutes and at the end of the uh, the cigarette, just as he puts it out, about to put it out, Tonto arrives on the scene with this beautiful woman on the back of the saddle with absolutely gorgeous earrings down, looking absolutely amazing. And the Long Ranger turned around to him and went, Tonto, man. I said, posse. I said, bring the posse. <laughs> Made me chuckle, but it's not my comedy. My comedy, and this is what I'm looking at, is when you look at what I've got, basically a plan, stand up for 60 minutes, breaking it into time segments, uh, and then on those time segments, it's creating a um, conversation in each segment that people can associate with, because that's what it's, it's association comedy really more than anything else. I do a lot of it in Dylan's bar, Jan Horseman, 
she put a really nice comment on the other day about how she she sat and watched it and she's laughed along, which is nice. So you no, know, I know it's got the right direction of where it's going, but what I find is is um, I've got it all in my head, and it's now actually trying to get it into onto paper, so it makes a bit more sense. And once it's on paper, it follows a structure. And when we can follow a structure from start to finish through the 60 minutes, I know then that um, I won't get lost and I'll be able to just flow it through. A lot of audience, I'm not gonna say participation, I'm gonna say audience interaction, because it's a question of like, is it just me? Do you know this? Do you feel this? This happens, um, dad's experiences. And it's based off the relevancy of what I've done over the uh, over my last 20 years on holidays with my kids. And you know, you just see the same thing. Somebody said to me, I'm, I'm quite an astute, um, observationalist I, I observe and I clock a lot of things and it's just I look at it and then once you've got that if you put a different spin on it and look at it from a different angle you get the same thing with a different angle it's, 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 it should actually then work so that's that's the first bit I was gonna do um, after that that's most probably gonna be I think that's gonna be about 20 minutes to half an hour I think um, start off with 20 minutes to try and get 20 minutes worth of material which I think I've got I've just got to just put it in, into lines after that, what it's going to be then is going to go back onto um, my experience of growing up. We're not a very, not from a very rich background, and um, the experiences of that of um, what it's like getting dropped off at your nan's house and you know, um, youngest of four sat in front of the TV watching shows. Very much a reminiscing style of what's happening uh, or what happened in the, as your kids growing up. But it's then. You start at the be sometimes you start at the beginning. You've got to sometimes start at the end and then work your way back up. The ending of the show is 100% it's going to be Dick Rapper. Uh, the reason being is because, and this is this is the crux of most probably the chemistry of of Tenerife, the chemistry of the mentality of the people living on the island. I don't think, I don't think the people who come to watch me will have an issue with what I say. And you know, people say, well, you're bomb, good luck, and all you'd be great. I don't think I've got an issue with that because I'm, I'm doing that day in, day out, and that's working all the time. But I keep saying to Shelley, I said, I think the issue that I might have is the bar owners wanting to give us a chance uh, because they know what works. And I'm gonna try and bring something a little bit different uh, to the, let's say to the, um, to the arena. I wanna, definitely what works over here is always visual. Uh, they want a visual comedy works, whether it be a drag act, whether it be um, an Elvis comedy, whether it be Chubby Brown, whether it be the Blues Brothers, and they're all great acts in themselves, but it's, that's not me, and that's not the comedy that I would actually go and watch and enjoy on a regular basis, if that makes sense. And that's not saying this in their comedy, it's just, it's a different style of um, comedy that I like to do. So, I, but I'm fully aware that these people I'm talking about they are extremely visual, whether it be the way they dress, uh, the whether they like drag, obviously, or the Blues Brothers, or the, the comedy Chubby Brown dresses. So I know there's gotta be an element in there for the bar owners to go, okay, so he has that to bring to the table. So I'm gonna to have to use Dick Rapper as a way of showing the comedy element at the end as the grand finale. And so I'm starting at the end with the Dick Rapper, but going back to the beginning, it comes out down to the fact of the love of rap and the way I was growing up and then shell suits and you know, all that sort of thing to get me into break dancing, to get me into vanilla ice, to get me, so it's, there's gonna be a sort of story going along that line. I've, I mean, so I've got it written down there ready to go, but it's just now trying to word it into a way that um, it flows. And that's what I knew would take the most time to do. This is the cathartic way of doing it for me is by talking it out it gives me more of an idea of a structure of what I want to do. Walking the dog today, I don't even know where he is. Uh, is he asleep behind me? <laughs> Just passed out behind me. Walking the dog this morning, a lot of the time, not a lot of the time, sometimes I wear headphones because uh, I just love music, distraction, interviews, but sometimes I have nothing because I just want to let myself think about how and, let, and just let it happen. So I came up with a bit, couple of ideas today that I'm going to try and get down on paper in a minute. I think that's trying to get it all in your head and try and get it onto paper. I mean, for instance, this is this is a classic This is a classic one today. I think about this stuff and I think that's really funny. And then I come in, if I don't write it down, if I don't write it down, I lose it within an hour. And I go, what was that? And I like to sort of bug myself going, what was it? So today, the notes of this one, it won't make sense at the moment. 
cash register, plastic handcuffs, Chinese Olympic sports, sunbeds. I know that there's five minutes for the conversation, makes no sense at the moment, but if I didn't write that down, in a day's time when I'm coming to structure that out, I'd have completely forgot about it. I'd have completely forgot about it. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an idea of the thought process that I'm doing. I think even this vlog's all over the place at the moment. But the thought process, it's, how do you explain? Um, there's a psychological element to this that somebody told me years ago and they said it most probably applies to me. And the psychological element is when you reach your end goal, because let's say you've been working for years to try and reach an end goal. When you reach that end goal, that's where most people tend to go, that's it, we're achieved, we're there, we're done. High five, you know, and that's what we do. Like a career, let's, let's talk about in a career sense. Somebody said about me, he said, the, the love that I have isn't reaching the end goal. The love that I have is the challenge of the work going up to get to that end goal. When I was the golfer, it was the time of the handicap going from 28 down to zero, the chase of trying to get it. It's the chase. When I'm, um, I was learning poker, the chase of trying to get there. When I was selling cars, selling my first car and then you know building myself up from that way. And then doing the compare was, I actually still remember the first time I picked a mic up after so many years and it was in a quiz on Golf Del Sur. And uh, I was petrified. And I was in front of 15 people, 20 people. Yeah, I used to do these clinics in the, in Holland in a different language in front of 700 people and I was making them laugh. So it's it's a weird one. It's like the psychology of what I look at is this bit now that actually that, that I'm in here is the bit that frightens me. It's the bit where most people tell me that I'm most probably the best at. The actual getting it together, building it up and stuff like that and it'll be fine, you know? And I like to think hopefully that's it and I've now just got to put some trust in that and think it'll be I think it'll be fine. So, with that in mind, I think the coffee's gone cold. Let's get to it, mate. Huh? Let's get to it. Bit different. Bit different. Happy Monday. 74% of you that watch this channel are yet to subscribe. Ladies and gents, if you could subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. And it will keep this channel going. When you know, you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say about it. See you on the next one. All the best. Enjoy your day. So a horse walks into a bar.